Good morning, dear students of Saint Andrews School. I hope you are staying at home and staying safe. Today, we will study mathematics, and this is chapter number seven. And name of this chapter is fraction. And first, we will understand proper fractions. Okay, fractions whose numerator is smaller than the denominator are called proper fraction. Okay, for example. One upon three. This is numerator and this is denominator. Okay. In this fraction, you can see numerator is smaller than the denominator, and in this fraction, numerator is smaller than the denominator, and in this fraction, numerator is smaller than the denominator, and in this fraction, numerator eight is smaller than the denominator 9 okay so these fractions are proper fractions okay got it now children we will understand improper fraction fractions whose numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator are called improper fractions okay in this fraction you can see numerator is greater than denominator and in this fraction numerator is greater than denominator and in this fraction numerator 9 is greater than denominator 4 and in this fraction numerator 15 is greater than denominator 8 and in this fraction numerator is equal to the denominator okay so these fractions are improper fractions okay understood now we will understand this fraction Or a mixed number, a fraction who, sorry, a fraction which is made up of a whole number and a proper fraction is called a mixed fraction or a mixed number. For example, two whole one by five, four whole one by seven, and five whole two by three, and six whole. One by five. Okay, here whole number means zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. Okay, whole numbers are zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Okay, understood? These are the whole numbers. So, children, you have understood what is Mixed number or mixed fraction. Okay, got it. So, children, if you have understood proper fraction and improper fraction and mixed fraction or mixed number, then you can complete exercise seven F and maintain math question very easily. Okay, so children, you will solve exercise seven F and. Mental maths question in homework. Okay, got it. So children, complete your work in mathematics and then click the photo and send it in group. Okay, your homework is you have to complete exercise seven F and mental maths question. Okay, got it. Thank you and have a nice day.